see Nathan, how many whores were in that whorehouse? I mean, there were probably like 10, but I had like two, and I think a third one snuck their way in there. How do you know when they sneak their way in? Is it just... Oh, you can feel it. You can feel it. Oh, my two favorite boys! Guess what this is? A bag? It's definitely like your gym bag. No, 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 it's not. It's a time capsule. We're gonna bury things that are important to us in the ground, and we're not gonna touch them for 50 years, and then dig them up again, and they're gonna be even more important to us at that point. Why? Um, why would I bury anything important to me in your disgusting gym bag? I can see the sweat stain. Well, listen. I was watching Parks and Rec, because I can't leave my house, and they did a time capsule episode, and it was freaking hilarious. So I thought it'd be a good idea to touch it. I thought it'd be a good idea to do our own time capsule. And we've all buried Twilight books in there like they did, but we can bury other things, like a shoe, your mother's purse, uh, Nathan, are you in there? I don't get the continuity of this one. Is that a threat? Kind of. Um, well, why do you even want to do this, Dad? Um, you know, I'm bored, and I thought this would be fun. Is, is it, it not fun? Is this, not, like is this not what fun thing? is anymore? I don't want to. You don't want to? What else this were you doing? Lame, no, don't leave. Alright, well, it's just me and you, brother. We can just do this together. Well, I know what I'm going to bury in there. What's that? Don't worry about it. Cool. Hey, kiddo, what's wrong? I saw you, uh, didn't want to do the, uh, whatever stupid thing your dad is doing this time. I'm just done with his stupid antics. <laughs> really? That seems like a me thing to say. And you're not me. I'm me. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess I also have a good hairline, too. So, definitely not you. Well, I do see the top of your skull. But anyways, um, so what is wrong, though? You know, I feel like it's more than that. Come on, man. Tell me what's really wrong. I mean, honestly, like, nothing new. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I don't know. There's puzzle pieces. I thought it would be cool. You can just never take anything seriously in anything. The only thing I take seriously is drugs. I take a lot of drugs. Seriously. Okay, I, did you come over here to help me, or are you just trying to be annoying? I kind of wanted to know if uh, you knew any weed dealers in the area. Um, Fine, I'll do the stupid time capsule. Thank you! God! Alright, now that I got your stupid kid on board... Hi, Drew. Hey, Dad. Let's see what you got. All right. Well, it wasn't easy, but I dug this up in my college days. See, me and Steve Carell, we were in the same frat and getting the same pussy, and it was kind of great. And he signed this picture of the office for me, and we're going to put this in the time capsule just to see what he looks like and to see if those dark lines go away. So I'm excited about that. This is going in the time capsule. I think you have to put it in the bag. Right. Let me tell you, the, the three ways with uh, Steve Carell were strange. But it was a strange time. It was the 80s. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna put this thing of popcorn in there. <laughs> now, it's not real popcorn, but I love bringing it to the movie theaters. Um, <clears throat> uh, did that come with a hole in it? Uh, no, why? What, what, uh, it's, uh, why is it one in the hole? Oh, don't worry about it, but I do use it a lot, if you know what I mean. Did you clean it first? Nope. You know what? It means something to you. You could say there's a part of you in it. I like the selection. Oh, it doesn't mean anything to me, but there is a part of me in it. Oh. Drew, what did you bring? So, I was actually required to read this text for school, the Bhagavad Gita. Um, it's a new translation version, but um, I, you know, study it a little bit. I've been getting in touch with my spiritual side, and it just means a lot to me because it really opens my eyes to the other religions around the hey, world. Hey, um, shut up. Yeah, what the hell? Who is this kid? God damn. Boring. All right. Next. I guess put your book in there. Oh, does he? He's touching my popcorn. 
I don't want that to touch my, my corn. So you guys are gonna judge me and with that? Really? You have a problem? Okay, no. I thought you wanted to do this. I never wanted to do this. Well, I made you want to do this, so you want to do this. Also, son, um, <sighs> because of the lockdown and all that, you have a good weed dealer. I have some of that too. No, I'm right. running. I'm running out. Like, do you, you go through Tom, right? Yeah, but Tom's in like Wisconsin right now. Yeah, that shit's no. locked at the moment. I tried his brother Tim, mm -hmm. but Tom said that Tim's an asshole, you so I didn't want to deal with. Only him. drink so much whiskey before you get the murderous thoughts. In. So I, I have to stop. Like, I get you. I get you. This kid, am I right? Yeah, fuck him. Asshole. Are we done? No, we need more things. Let's go. Alright boys, well, let's see what else we got for our second round of time capsule things. So, what'd you ask me? What, what, what I'm putting in? What oh, are you I putting you, in? Uh, 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 glad you asked. I am putting in an orange, because the future will be destitute of food. I guarantee it. You know that's gonna rot before, you know, it's like time, right? Impossible. What? This, this soda is orange and it's not rotting. I don't care. I'm putting in this hot dog. Another another plushie? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got a nice nice sized hole in there too. Jesus! That did not come with the hot dog. Well no, but it was when I was like younger, so it's a little smaller than the other one. Um My dear brother, this has to stop. No. Ugh, it's not on the orange! Stop! Don't worry, they'll they'll eat it, and I'll be able to live in the future because of it. I shared a room with you. Oh, you shared a lot more than you know. I hate you guys. But what'd you bring? I don't care if you hate us. What'd you bring? I brought my book, and you guys laughed at it. The Bhagavad Gita? That? Shut up. I didn't the classical work of the 1700s? I hate you both. I worked really hard to come up with something cool for something I didn't care about, and you guys are bringing bull crap. I'd just like to say I didn't uh, laugh at it. I just fell asleep. Cause I laughed boring. at it. Like, straight up laughed at it. So... I guess I have to apologize for that. So you're not bringing anything else? No, I don't want to do anything. I don't even want to do this anymore. I don't know why we... Son, listen to me. This is for the future. The future of all of us. Well, it doesn't really I hate matter. You. I kind of figured he would do this. So we're going to put in his shoes. So I'm say goodbye to your shoes. I'm drunk. Just thought I'd throw that out there. This is not soda. We've been inside a long time, boys. This is moonshine. Pappy's feeling frisky. Why did you take my shoes? Because they're in the time capsule now, because I knew you wouldn't bring anything, and also they're kind of gross. Let's and they have that. holes in them. Let's bury you it. You know what I mean. Let's, let's, let's bury it. I came in your shoes. Let's, let's bury it. Come on, guys. They're going to bury it. It's going to be fun. All over. Those are your shoes. All right. Here's to the future. To infinity and beyond. Wait, what are you doing? We buried it. That... That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Are you an idiot? I put my most beloved flashlights in there. Right? Whiskey time. <laughs>